<coughs> uh, hello, I'm Rafael Diez from Vica and I'm going to present the patent variable filtration for air conditioning and ventilation systems. More than 100 years enjoying air conditioning. And every part of the age have been optimized. But what happens with the filters? They are the same every time and the pollution conditions change every day and every hour. It's like if you have your accelerator pedal in the same position, no matter if you go uphill or downhill. Okay. Uh, uh, many cities in the world have different pollution conditions every time. London, Los Angeles, Hong Kong, Beijing, they have uh, days, very clean days and very pretty days, but the filters are always the same. If we have variable filtration, uh, we could guarantee healthy indoor quality even in the worst days and save uh, energy and maintenance in the clean days. That would be perfect for the three pillars of sustainability, people, economy and environment. Uh, we could improve health and well-being of people, for example, including expensive filters like carbon filters that can stop uh, chemicals that uh, produce um, respiratory and cardiovascular diseases and even cancer. And we could improve the economy using this filtration, the clean days, saving about 5,000 pounds in a building of 1,000 occupants. But overall, we have improved productivity of people about 1 million pounds in the same building of 1,000 occupants. And how can we do that? Well, uh, uh, we have different filters for uh, different target of, of, of pollutants, uh, particulates, chemicals, and uh, we can have uh, filters that can be activated or deactivated depending on the outdoor or indoor conditions. For example, in the ages, uh, we can have regulating dampers just beside the filter. So we can deactivate the filters by opening the damper and we can activate the filter by closing the damper and make the air go through the filter. We have other many solutions inside the ages. But we have also solutions outside the edges, so this is very good for existing buildings, for existing installations. And also for the future, we have a filter that can move or rotate inside the airflow. We can see another example. Uh, this innovation uh, are included in two patents of Viga and the University of Valladolid and registered as international patents in 2019 and 2020. And the first of the patents uh, have just passed the examination of innovation with 20 of 20 claims declared as innovation. And is this good about business? Well, we have studied hour by hour all the pollutants uh, in a whole year in a typical city like Paris that has similar pollution than London uh, to know what filters we have to activate and deactivate. And the result is the investment we need is around 7,000 pounds and the energy we save is up to about 2.5 pounds a year in energy depending on the airflow type and the filtration type of particles. That is a return on investment of 2.6 years only of energy, but if we include the maintenance of carbon filters, it will be less than 1.3 years, but if we include uh, the productivity of the people that we see before is more than 200 times, but more than 200 times the energy saving, it would be a better of anamizing five days. 
and we think this is this could be a good innovation for companies that want to make a difference with the competitors, uh, providing indoor air quality and saving energy and maintenance in a way never seen before. Thank you very much. The point thing is for a, a, we can have a air conditioning units that can change the filtration depending of the pollution outside and the condition inside. So we don't need the same filter anymore because our conditions are changing every day and every hour. And we need different filters for different conditions. Yes, we should measure uh, particulates in the pipe or other particulates and also chemicals and also ozone or also other chemicals and depending on what we have, we could activate the filter we need. We could activate HIPAA filters, we can activate F9 filters, we can activate carbon filters. Well, the, the most complex way would be to have sensors outside and on and inside. But as many cities in London give you the information uh, for the station, we can take the data from that in a cheapest way. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the patent includes the control. The solution is bypass the filter or make the air go through the filter. If we bypass the filter, the filter is deactivated. But if we close the regulating that, the air goes through the filter. So we can bypass the filter and it's a way we deactivate it. Yes. Well, the, the highest space is for the filter. So we only need one third of a space to put the damper and not to make a lot of velocity inside. One third. Yes. Uh, for the more standard uh, solution, you change the filter the same way that in another A2 because you only have another part it just beside the filter, for example, over it, that doesn't uh, give you any problem to change the filter. Well, th there is no limit to put one filter, one filter after another. Yes, or depending on the contamination you have in the city. Well, at this moment, it's just a patent we'd like to share. Uh, and this was developed by the University of Valladolid and our company. But in, in our city, we don't have a lot of pollution. So it's not easy for us to do a prototype that we can measure in this city, because it's not a very polluted city. <laughs> it's not a good place. <laughs> 